Uh, guys, we got the fight picks. This is a pretty good fight here. A fight that if you told me was going to happen about a year ago, I would say you're absolutely insane. We got Alexander Gustafson getting <laughs> his true. return against Fabricio Verdum. Uh, Fabricio coming off a close, close fight with Alexei Olenek, who, as we know, is a beast. I'm going to lead right into my pick with this one. This one's really, really close for me. And I think one of, the, one of the scenarios that have really placed a big spot in my mind recently is light heavyweights coming up to heavyweight. Yeah. Um, when I look at Gustafson, I see um, – I think everybody sees that he's, he's a very good striker. Um, he's got those knockouts, 11 of his 18 wins coming by a knockout. And then I look at Verdum and I look at how big Gustafson is going to be at heavyweight compared to how he was at light heavyweight. I don't think he's going to be able to get these, these strikes out as fast as he can at heavyweight, as we've seen in, 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 a, in, like in recent history with light heavyweights coming up to heavyweight. Um, Verdum has a, has a ground advantage, I would say, personally. Oh, yeah. Um, and, and, <laughs> yeah. With, and with Gustafson, <laughs> you and with Gustafson, you think? With Gustafson think? being choked out in his last fight against Anthony Smith, who has seen – who we've kind of seen fall off a little bit in the light heavyweight division, albeit against some pretty tough opponents. Um, but Verdum having the ground advantage, I, I see him being able to control the fight. If, if it was Verdum coming down to light heavyweight, this is a completely different story for me. Uh, I have to lean toward, towards Verdum winning this one. Uh, I, I don't think Verdum's going to make a huge name for himself in the heavyweight division. I definitely believe he's past his prime, especially being 42. I 43. Think, he's 43 but, now. Is he, he's listed as 42. I'm he's 58. <laughs> Birthday, July 30th, 1977. What's the math on that? 30. Yeah, let me 40. do mental Oh, math. you're right, 43. Why does it say 42 then on Shirt Dog? It's not okay. No, well, he'll, be 43, uh, he'll be 43 in a week. Yeah, oh, 43 yeah. in a week. Yeah, that's the math. Oh, July so, yeah. 30th. My bad. <laughs> yeah, 42, 42. Okay. All right. So going back, just, yeah, just quickly what I was saying was – it, yeah, so if this was at light heavyweight, I would pick Gustafson, no problem. But just looking at it like this, if Verdum was able to stand with Olenek, uh, uh, was it Ol who was eating shots in that fight? Verdum, Verdum. Verdum yeah. was eating shots? He okay, kept getting well, hit. Yeah, so, so I think definitely that's what lost in the fight now that you put that back in my memory. Uh, but I, I see Verdum getting this to the ground and kind of keeping him there. He fought when, when Verdum fought uh, uh, Volkov, obviously before he got KO'd, uh, he was able to take it to the ground and kind of keep it there. He's done that throughout his career, submitting guys like Walt Harris. He even beat the unanim unanimous decision against Marcin Tybura, who we saw fight a light heavyweight before this, and it was a very, very boring fight. I don't think this is a boring fight. I think there's a lot of grappling advantages in this fight for Verdum, and there's a lot of exchanges. I'm super excited for this fight, and uh, I will pass it on to you guys. All right, so I'm, I'm kind of surprised he went with Verdum because I don't think he has a chance. So let me explain <laughs> myself a little bit. He came into his last fight against uh, Alexi Olenek, and let's keep it real. He looked terrible. He was in <laughs> awful physical condition dude did not look like a <laughs> professional athlete to me and looked okay like John Vellante. he looked worse than john Vellante. <laughs> yeah, but okay well just just to cut you off for a second how do you think uh, i just don't think gustafson's gonna look very good at heavyweight it's hard I to look worse gustafson's than that though. gonna look great yeah he's gonna I look think fine Gus is gonna look fucking awesome as long I as he doesn't look like the average um drunk like he look. Uh, Verdun looked like the average, like, 50-year-old Brazilian soccer fan who gets drunk on very expensive beer at I games. I thought he looked pretty good in the fight against Olenek. So that, that Did he look good in the fight? Okay, so here, here. Uh, I don't he think got landed on repeatedly by Alexei Olenek. And let's not forget the narrative going into the fight with Verdun was that Verdun was going to be the better striker. The narrative going in was that he was going to have the better striking technique and that he was going to land more on Olenek. He got crushed on the feet. And, okay, you mentioned, yes, his path to victory is 100% the ground game. But Alexi Olenek is not a good wrestler. He struggles to take the fight down to the mat. 1.71 takedowns per fight with a 31% accuracy. And he's coming up against Alexander Gustafson, who has an 85% takedown defense. Did you say Alexi Olenek is a bad wrestler? What? No, I said Verdum's a bad wrestler. Oh, I swear I thought I heard you say Olenek. I, I, might have, I might have slipped up and said that, but Verdum is not a good wrestler. Like, wait, what? <laughs> 1. Like, 7, 1, 1.71 takedowns on 31% accuracy, facing up against 85% takedown defense. 
Now, if Verdum gets it to the fight once, sure, he it's 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 going to be a problem. But the reason that he was able to get Olenek down to the feet is because I think Olenek wanted to grapple with Verdum. Because let's not forget, Olenek's a primary grappler. Now, the fact that he just kept getting landed on by Olenek, let's let okay, maybe Gustafson won't get the shots out as fast at heavyweight, right? Maybe that that's probably true. But I bet Gustafson's punches are five times faster than Alexei Olenek's with 10 times that technique. We can't forget that this guy is a boxing master. He, he, just, he just throws such good hands very, very well. And on the feet, if it's state, he's going to knock out for Doom pretty early. I think he's going to catch him. He still has that power. Going up, he's going to have more power. He's going to knock out for Doom. Uh, very early, I think. And if it goes to the decision, we saw Verdum gas out. This just does not seem a very good fight for a 42, almost 43-year-old off steroids, not great physical condition, Fabricio Verdum. I don't think I mentioned the calculator percentage, so Verdum is a 56.4. Interesting. Wow. Who's next? Me, I think. Yeah, okay, go ahead. Uh, this is – so this one's tough for me. Um I will say I'm kind of shocked about the betting odds. Um, Gustafson's a minus 360 favorite, which I don't think he should be that high. Um, although, it's tough because he lost to Anthony Smith, and we just saw Smith get wrecked by Glover Teixeira. Like, I don't know. A fight I really thought he was going to walk through, but um, I don't know. So it's tough. You know, Gustafson's going up to heavyweight. Gustafson's a big dude. He's 6'5", though. It's not like he's going to be a small yeah. heavyweight. He yeah. looks good from what I've seen in training. Verdum looked really out of shape his last fight. I think the layoff was not good for him. Um, and Gustafson's not got a bad ground game. Um, but he's got, you know, I mean, obviously, if it's on the ground, Verdum has the advantage. But I think Gustafson's got good enough takedown defense to keep it on the feet. So I think I got to go with Gus on this one. Yep. Uh, not much more to say. I think that I, 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 I'm really excited for the heavyweight uh, showing of Alexander Gustafsson. Uh, I think that he's going to knock him out in round one or round two. I, I'll go round two. I think uh, he, he's going to have what Zach, I think it was Zach that was saying the technique and like the speed is going to be lower than it was at light heavyweight. Sure. But I still think Gus is going to be, what is going on in the, what is going on? It doesn't matter. Just keep on going. Okay. Um, I, yeah, I've, I've got um, – sorry, that, that was so distracting. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, think, I think that his speed is still going to be way more than Fabricio's, and he's going to make Fabricio look kind of foolish on the feet. I think that Gus is just going to have great, great times at heavyweight. I really do. All right, well – that, that's our prediction for the fight. Uh, again, lone wolf for me. Um, maybe not for the last time of the night. We'll see. Um, and uh, let us know what you guys think, because I've been lone wolf for the most of it. I want to see the lone wolves in the comments. Lone wolves unite, please. Let's go. Um, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, make sure you guys are checking out the other Fight Picks videos, because we do have a lot of disagreements. We have a lot of agreements, and I want to know if you guys agree or disagree with us. Uh, show your support. Like I said, check them out. And thank you guys for watching.